Good morning, lovely grade ones. Thank you for joining me again today. It's so nice to have you with me and we're going to be doing some maths. If you have any questions while I'm speaking, feel free to ask mum or dad to send an email to the address on the screen now and I'll do my best to get back to you. Okay, I just love maths. Do you? I love all the numbers. And do you know you get different types of numbers? And today we're going to be studying some called ordinal numbers. What on earth is that teacher die? Well, I bet you actually know them, but you didn't know they were called that. So don't worry too much about the big word and let's get started. Let's count. Remember, we have to warm up our brains. If we're going to run this maths race today, we need our brains to be working full steam ahead. So shall we warm up by counting in twos? Remember that starting at the number two and we're skipping over all the odd numbers and we'll start to see a pattern which is going to help us count. Okay, let's go. Count with me. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. Whew, that was a good warm up. Let's count in fives. We're starting at the number five and we plus five more each time. Count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, 45, 50. Well done. Okay, lastly, my favorite is counting in tens because you just go zoops down the side. Let's go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Well done. Okay, let's read some number names. We counted numbers. Now we have to read the words for numbers. Okay, you can say it first. What number is this? For one, eight, three, four. Say it with me. What's this? Seven, five, two, six. Good job. Okay, take your places. We're ready to start. If we're going to run around the race, what do we call the person that crosses the finish line? The number one person to cross the finish line. He's the winner, hey? And he came first, right. And the person who comes after him, number two, he came second. And that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about the word if you come number one. And we say that is first. So when you think number one, you can also think first. The person who comes second, oh, I said it. The person who comes number two is second. That's right. First, second, and then third. Yes, first, second, third. And that's what we're going to discuss today. All the numbers right up to eight. Okay, so we've got three people here. Now quickly tell me, what do we call the person who's coming number one? He came first. The next person who came number two, second. And number three, third. Very good. What if we had eight people running this race? Let's see if we can say it all. Number one is first. And we can also write it like this. And number one with a st on the end. And that's because the word ends in st. So it's first, first, that's how we write the number. Second, we write like this, a two, the second place, with a nd to remind us that the word ends in nd. Second, do you hear it? Number three is third, with a three and a rd up here. Third. Position number four is fourth. With a four and a th. Fifth. With a five and a th. Because they both end with th. Sixth. Sixth. And 
finally, seventh, with a seven. Okay, let's say the words again. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Well done. Okay, if we have, here we have our solar system. Now that means the sun, this is the solar system that our earth is in right now. And all these planets are going round and around the sun in big circles. And the planet closest to the sun is Mercury. Did you know that? The planet second is Venus. And what is the third planet from the sun? It's our planet, planet Earth. Fourth, Mars. Fifth, Jupiter. Saturn is in place number. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place number six is called sixth. Sixth place. Place number seven. Seventh place is Uranus. And the last one is place number eight. Neptune. Planet number eight is Neptune in eighth place. Can we write the numbers for that? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eight is eighth. Well done. Whew, that's a lot of hard work. Let's see if we can answer some questions. Okay, are you ready? Which planet is third from the sun? Do you know? Do you remember? Planet number one, number two, number three, and third is number three. Right, what planet is that? Planet Earth. Yes, where we come from. Earth. So, which planet is third from the sun? Earth. Earth is third from the sun. Now, don't get confused. This first one isn't a planet. That's the sun. Okay. The rest, these ones are planets. You can see the sun is bigger than all of them. Did you know that? It looks so tiny up in the sky, but actually it's really big, much bigger than our planet. Okay. Next one. Oh, Earth <laughs> is third from the sun. Next question. The second planet from the sun is, okay, now we have to choose an answer. Is it Mercury or is it Neptune? Or is it Venus? The question was, the second planet from the sun is. Second, what number is that number? Two. So let's go. One, two. And let's see, what planet is that? It starts with a V. Yes, Venus. Okay, the second planet from the sun is Venus. Yes, that's right. We got it right. Let's do another one. Okay, fill in the missing word. Jupiter is the hmm planet from the sun. Now we need to say, so here's Jupiter. Can you count and tell me what is the missing word? Jupiter is the hmm planet from the sun. Quickly count. One, two, three, four, five. And how do we say that word? Fifth, yes. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. Well done. Very good. Okay, true or false? True or false? The sixth planet from the sun is Saturn. Okay, you tell me, is that true or false? You're going to have to count to find the sixth planet. Okay, let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they say it is Saturn. Let's see, is it Saturn? Yes, so true or false? True. Well done. It is the sixth planet from the sun. Very good. And now we know our ordinal numbers and it can help us. And look at that. I give you all first place. Well done. You've learned them so quickly. If you run a race, you'll be able to say now if you came first, second, third, fourth, fifth. And today for your maths lesson, I've given you all first place. If I had a trophy, I'd give it to you right now. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Go ahead and download the activity that I've prepared for you or go onto Worksheet Cloud and complete all of their fantastic worksheets that all look just like that. So much fun. Have a lovely day, Grade 1s, and I hope I'll see you again soon.